Welcome everyone. Hey, my name is Eugene and this is my little bitty cooking show for you to eat. And uh, I am all about whole foods, plant-based cooking. Oh, and uh, doctor's orders, no oils. I bet I got something good for you. And if you want to adopt a healthier way of eating, come on in, check it out. All right, boys and girls, you want to smoke a big fatty? Let's smoke one. No, 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 we ain't smoking a fatty. But hey, you know, if you do smoke a fatty and at night you're wanting that munchie, but you know what? You've changed. I'm a changed man. I'm no longer eating all them crap foods, all those oils, the meat, the dairy, all that crap is gone. I'm on the straight, narrow path of a good whole foods, plant-based eating program, but I still want my chocolate. I still want my candy. I want Want my ooey gooey icky sticky? Here's what I got for you. I'm gonna show you how you make it. This here is a Whole Foods compliant. Look at this bad boy right here, huh? Eugene's icky sticky ooey gooey chocolate log molasses sweetened with cocoa powder. You know, we're gonna call it something. Yeah, it's, we're gonna call it that, right? But let's go ahead and get started, all right? Now, I'm just freeballing it here, and I'm going to give you some approximations. I'll have a recipe down below here, and I still kind of guesstimate, but hey, this is as easy as putting socks on a rooster, but you know, you really don't want to do that. That rooster's going to get pissed, okay? So I'm going to go with a good handful of oats. You know what? I'm going to go with two handfuls, just two big handfuls of oats. These are old-fashioned oats. Here, and we're going to go with a big heaping tablespoon cocoa powder. You know what? We're going to go with two heaping tablespoons of cocoa powder. Pop that in the food processor. Let's go with our... No, we're going to put that on top of the molasses. Let's go with the molasses. We got one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons. Nope. There's three tablespoons, four tablespoons, a good five tablespoons of molasses. Thereabouts, give or take. You know what? Let's put a little bit more in. Now for me, the molasses gives it a unique flavor that works very well with the cocoa powder. Um, we're going to put about a cup and a half of our raisins in. Why a cup and a half? Because hey, I want to save some for my oatmeal tomorrow. And we're going to put us some flax seeds in. Let's give it one good tablespoon, two good tablespoons. And you know what? Let's go for three tablespoons right here, okay? All right, time for the hooch. About two tablespoons, two and a half thereabouts. We got everything in there. We're ready to go. I have all ingredients. Let's go ahead and process here. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look inside there. Now see that? That is real thick and dense. Oh, and it tastes so good. We're going to add a little bit more oatmeal to it. I'm going to put another big handful of oatmeal in it. Process it good, get everything incorporated, and there we go. That's what it's looking like. 
It's nice and thick and ooey and gooey. Get you some wax paper out. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that is so good. Oh, this is thick. Oh, and just take a look at that. Now, I just kind of dreamt this up on my own. I know I didn't invent something like this here, but I just thought of it on my own. I'm going to take credit for it. Now, normally I use my sushi uh, roller thingamajig, but hell, I forgot to bring it today. And just roll this son bitch up like you're rolling up a big old Cheech and Chong doobie. Now you might say that looks like a great big old turd, but you know what? That's goodness. That is goodness. And then take a look. We're going to mess this bad boy up with some sesame seeds. And it don't so much look like a turd now. Now it feels kind of turdy, but no, no, no. There is, there is goodness in here. There is goodness in here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to tell you what. What I do is roll it up, try to work any of the air out. Poke the ends in. And there you go. You're going to want to throw this in the refrigerator. Keeps best in the refrigerator as well. Makes it nice and hard. That way you can cut you off a little chunk of it. Okay, so what I do is at nighttime when I'm watching Aqua Teen Hunger Force or uh, Rick and Morty or something like that, and I want that little something or something that, that Emerald was always talking about, I'll go into the fridge, sneak out a little bite of this, Mm, 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 mm. I can still taste a little bit of that bourbon vanilla extract. Oh, the cocoa powder, the molasses, everything, in my opinion, conspires to make a chocolate substitute. You know what? To me, this is just as good as any chocolate I've ever had. I gave it to a friend of mine who's one of those highfalutin uh, chef types. He said it's damn good. So if uh, Doc says it's good, I'm going to say it's good. My taste buds say it's good. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. Right down there. That, that Give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you liked it. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Y'all come back now, you hear?